What's going on, everybody? Just got in from the JJ All Star Louisville Sports Card Show. It was really good. I uh, went up there as a dealer. I only got a little bit of video from you seen in the beginning. That was first clip was just getting there setting up compared to towards the end of the show. I didn't really get to walk around at all. Um, at the very end, I saw somebody I knew and ran over and picked up some cards. Did very well. Um, value stuff wise, two full rows of a 3200 count box did sell out of like the 10 boxes. Not Nothing like the Lexington show. Uh, sold a lot of Hall of Fame autos, mostly in some of the newer guys like in the NBA that are getting ready to go. Quarterbacks, of course. No more Russell Wilson rookie autos. Those are both gone as well, too. Uh, I'm trying to think what else went today. DeAndre Swift rookie auto was a contender's ticket out of 23 or something like that. But a lot did move today. I got to move some hockey. That's different for sure. Glad to meet some fellow hockey people out there along with Penguin fans at that. So at first I didn't think I was going to buy anything at the show. Um, it was coming down and I had a young girl come over to me. And I'm not going to guess the age, probably between the ages of 10 and 13. Maybe younger even. I have no idea. She brought. She asked me if I was buying. And I was like, sure, I'm buying. Figured maybe she had something. She pulled out, brought four or five cards over, and they were all like $200 to $500 on sticker. And I'm like, whoa, these are nice. These are yours? It's like, no, they're my uncle's. And I'm like, oh. She's like, I'm selling them for him. And I'm like, uh, is he here? She's like, oh, he's set right up over there. And I looked over and seen him. I'm like, all right. So I looked up some prices, and I said, well, this is what these are going for. Ask him what he's interested in doing. Uh, she come running back over. He'll do this. And I said, okay, I can do that. She goes, oh, good. I get to make money today. I guess he was. she was getting paid for running around. I think this is a smart idea. Using the kids to run around to other dealers, ask them if they were interested, that were busy, to buy. Great idea. Um... I'll show you those two cards first here. So the first two she brought over. Immaculate. I know, I know, Panini Baseball. But Ted Williams, Clemente, Musil, Joe Jackson, Relics. Three of them are bats out of 25. Does three bitty. Beautiful piece here. That's all I got to say. The other piece, these do 250. Last sale. Very hard to find these. Topps Cosigners. I believe this was 2008. I'm going to put up to the camera. See oh, seven. I was off by year. Seven. Namath and Elway. Really, really cool card to find out there. So, th there was a little boy that was with him, her brother. He brought over some cards. I was interested in one. We couldn't get anything worked out on it. Young girl comes running back over with more cards. I was interested in two. Uh, we couldn't get the price there. And I said, remember the um, uh, uh, the girl card I told her? Because I didn't know how much she knew about sports cards. And she's like, oh, yeah. I said, see if we could do all three of these for a price. They came back with a price. And I came back again. I said, I need a little bit more room on to them. You know? Just a little, not much. And we agreed on another price. I cannot believe how cheap Soto autos are. Look them up. Um, I went to another guy's booth at the end and looked up Soto's. And I said, dude, I don't even want to insult you the prices unless you want to move them cheap. Soto stuff is dropped. This is like a $100 Soto auto from 2020 Topps Chrome. Can't even believe it. I looked up a Topps Sterling. Expensive product. It was barely doing like $150 ish. And then he had two other ones, and they were like 100, 117, 120, you know. I'm like, what the crap? Soto, dirt cheap right now. Don't know why. If somebody in the comments knows, um, hit me, hit something in the comments. I'm kind of curious. Picked a Moran up. PSA 8's out of set, uh, 75. It's just something I can move. I actually have a 99 out of 99, same card, PSA 10. These do... There's like a 186 sale and a 230 something. We just agreed it was like a $200 value on to it. So pretty cool to pick up another Morant. This was the girl card. I'll hold this up. How many people know UFC? I have no idea the price. I finally got in touch with somebody to ask him. And he said I did well with it. Chris Justino. She's been in movies. Fighting movies, of course. 
otherwise known as Cyborg. I still believe today is the one woman, well, she was in her prime and Rousey was in her prime, that she probably would have beat Rousey senseless. No lie. She was tough cookie. Um, 101 Gold Inc. I could only compare this card here to 101s from Leaf that were doing like $100 to $150. I'm taking it being topped. It's worth more. I thought maybe $200 would probably be fair. $250 very tops. I could be wrong. Any of you UFC people have any ideas, drop it in the comments. I have no idea. I really don't. But got a really good deal onto it. 101. Doesn't even say Cyborg. I guess she wasn't allowed to use that in UFC. No idea. So, and the show comes. And I happen to look over and I see a guy. I'm like, oh my gosh. I was hoping he would be set up and not in Ohio today. He had one card I knew I wanted to get. And I'll show you that right off the bat. Ken Griffey Jr. Luminaries Mariners on card. Completely on card out of 10. These do three and a quarter. I think three and a quarter was three and a quarter, three fifty, one of the two. But really nice card. I love picking up Griffey stuff with Mariners uniform on. It's just very hot commodity where, where I deal with stuff. So had to grab this. Really nice card. Um, I don't know. Luminaries grades well. I didn't see any whiting on it. I'll have to put it underneath the scope. Maybe gradable. No idea. And then I he had this last show. And I wanted to get it then. I just didn't bring a whole lot of cash with me that show. But out of 15, Diamond Kings out of 15 Pujols. Only one, there's two sales back in 2022 on this card. And his stuff has gone up since then. And this last sale on this was three and a quarter at the end of 2022. I know it's the hype there and stuff like that. But I pulled up other poo horses prior to hoping he would be there for this card. And I looked at other stuff that would be similar from 2022. Or when it's sold in 2022 to what it is now with poo hall stuff. And it would have went up a little. I mean, not a whole lot. Maybe 350 most. But really cool piece. Excited to pick this up as well, too. So seven cards in total today. Um, really happy to pick this stuff up. Like I said, uh... I would guess more than likely to maybe all but the cyborg move this week for me. Maybe I'll hold on to the Griffey. I've been wanting to hold one for a while. Maybe I'll hold the Griffey for a change. But pretty cool. Um, sorry, you guys have the hiccups here. I'm trying to control them a little bit. But really, really happy with the show how the turned out the hiccups are probably not going to leave me now in this video and i'm not going to start one over but really happy with the way the show turned out a lot of people there considering there were other shows in the area especially a big one in exenia ohio let's see I'm trying to think i had something else i was going to say on to it oh next week i will be probably going out to venture to salem indiana they have a different venue but same area card show where it's 80 tables so if you guys are i'm going as a buyer not setting up two weeks straight's enough for me i can't i don't think i can do a third week straight <laughs> it's tiring i ain't gonna lie set up as a dealer um then i'll be back in lexington kentucky end of the month set up and i believe the next change louisville was may 11th pretty sure it was the 11th uh, i know they put me down for it but That'll be it there, and then we'll be moving to Pennsylvania. Not moving, but trucking over to Pennsylvania for a show up in Monroeville. Not set up. Going up there. Mr. Joe, the mailman, if you're around, we'll link up. Uh, I'll probably do that show on Friday, I'm thinking. But we'll, we'll see what your schedule's like. Uh, that's really about it. I, I do have a lot of comps. So it'll be coming in. I do have two nice cards. When you see from Golden Auction, I'll put you this way. I bought one card. And what a raw under just under what a raw card would do as a PSA 10. So I purchased a PSA 10 for what a raw card sells for. I'm telling you, there's still deals to be had on Golden. You just have to be very patient and watch. And the other card was about the same, just a tad over what a raw would do, but as a PSA 10. 
But that is it for this video. I appreciate it as always, guys. Um, I'll check if I do. I'm pretty sure. I'm like 80% sure I'm going to Salem next weekend. It'll be a little bit better of a video, so you guys get to see displays and stuff like that there. To where I really couldn't do much with it today. Other than that, it's WrestleMania weekend. So for all you guys that are big WWE. TNA, um, AEW fans, WrestleMania, of course, is the highlight spectacular that's been around since the early 80s. So it is a long weekend for any wrestling fan out there. But you guys stay safe out there. I know there's some storms coming up through next week. I've seen, I don't know how crazy they are. I just happened to hear about and looked. At, we have like three days of rain. I think it's like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. But be on the lookout for some other videos. I don't know how they're going to come out, but they might have already came out by now. The How to check to make sure your PSA slabs are legit. There's a lot of fake slabs going around, and they're good. Good getting better. Better than what they were. So keep an eye on that. Just something, you know, you could go buy on Amazon. I'm not saying, hey, I'm an Amazon affiliate. Use my link crap stuff, but... For, you know, like five, ten bucks, pick one up. It, it'll help you out. Usually I don't endorse a whole lot of things, but if you're going to start buying slabs and stuff and you don't know the people, it could be somebody you know. They don't know. They picked it up type deal. Pay attention, to, or be on pay attention, but be on the lookout for that one. And just, um, if you get a chance, go on Amazon or wherever and pick up the one tool that I uh, speak about in that video. All right, guys, take care. I'm out. I'll catch you guys next one.